and the curiosity that ignited it. You have too many files open there. It's going down. The risk they took. And the determination that beat it. And mainly the desire to make every moment count. about the uh, technical difficulties but um, it's a great video I'll put it up on the website goinesco.in to check after you go home and uh, you'll see a much better version which was not pausing every time um, hopefully you'll enjoy it right so Uchita, back to you. Uh, Hyderabad has a rich heritage in this form of lakes gardens the various monuments, Chomahala Palace, for instance, and there's a lot of thing. Uh, there's a lot of awareness that we need to bring among people to know that there is a rich heritage existing in our city. The Indian National Trust for Art and Cultural Heritage, or INDAC, conducts training workshops for school students and encourages them to start heritage clubs as part of their activities. So, on that note, I would like to call Anuradha Reddy, the convener of INDAC Hyderabad chapter, to say a few words. First of all, I'd like to say that Ajay very, very modestly hasn't told you about himself. He's actually a software person, ex-software person. Whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, I don't know. But he's an ex-software person. He's worked in India and outside the country. And then somewhere along the way, he decided that he's going to become an entrepreneur. 
which like the rest of life we learn many lessons in life some are happy some are not so happy like in our archaeology and all that we have some very good examples and we have some which need a lot of help but anyway this life uh, the road in life is long and ajay has learned many things in a very short life because he is a young man still and having done this i think an initial uh, uh, effort of putting this on the web because this is also the advantage of being a software person he knows how to play around with it you know I mean, there are those of us at our generation who send emails, and we're very happy with design and stuff. And coming to design, I like to say, when you look at a monument, it's completely designed. Every aspect. You may not have thought of it like this, but it is design. It is sculpture. It is music. It is every kind of aspect in in stone in front of you. Recently, I was in Varangal for the Kakatiya Festival, and it was a wonderful three-day event. it wasn't a typical government type of celebration it was transforming sculpture into stage and into action so these are some of the things that ajay has started out wanting to share with people and uh, those of us at intact can i ask sajjad to join us please come sajjad is co-convener of intact hyderabad and convener of intact hyderabad so it's a great pleasure sometimes and it's sometimes sadness to be these two depending on your vision and uh, we are very happy to partner ajay in the go unesco project i just want to say this is an initial effort that has moved into something that we are seeing today and i wish him all the very best that it goes forward and becomes much larger and that he gets many more sponsorships because the kind of effort that is put into travel i recently traveled to vijayawada by bus to attend a history congress in uh, avani gata I don't know how many people here have heard of the name Avani Gata. About four or five in this whole group, not counting Mr. K. V. Rao because he's from the department. <laughs> But just this one visit, traveling by R T C bus, going to Avani Gata, and then traveling around Machli Patnam, I discovered that we have a huge international maritime history, and there is no single monument, museum, or any kind of exhibition to this. Mr. Patnam Hall in Bijapur. Now we are looking at international travel across the centuries, and we were the center for spices, for gold, for textiles, for everything between England and Japan. So today we are talking business and economics and industry. It's the same thing. So we need to know where we started, and this is a very good beginning because when we go and look at our past, we are looking at very ancient heritage. Of which we are also quickly becoming part of. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I can still climb forts and towers and things. I'm a photographer. But what is important is that Ajay has translated our desires and our wish to protect this and project it into something that the young can do easily, <laughs> especially for women to travel nowadays. It's really very difficult to accomplish something like this in a year's time to go to every side. And I believe somebody has also been to Bhutan. In addition, yeah. somebody in the crowd, in the group, and Nepal, they have included because they were not happy with just Indian World Heritage sites. They also travel to Bhutan and uh, Nepal. So it is an achievement. It means you are a young working professional, and you are making time in your working days, and you are going out to see and appreciate these things. But apart from this, you are also creating an awareness for other people. And this is the very important message. should be carried so i think at some point if i need to say anything more i'll say it but i congratulate ajay and his group and i know rajesh is here somewhere rajesh let's check somewhere he's here right behind me okay the point that we didn't mention also is that they are all a group of runners not getting up and running for your bus every day <laughs> not running into the toilet because you're late for your pick up that morning but these are actually marathon runners who take their running very seriously i know rajesh and his group have gone and run in greece and i know ajay has run in several places internationally also nationally also and i hope that soon we will make a uh, instead of a walk we are going to start making a heritage run to various wonderful places in the city that we have and i hope very much that people will join this movement So for the moment, I won't say anything more. I'll hand over to you.
thank you for inviting us here and thank you for sharing uh, some of your program. Uh, I actually want to thank you because just the other day I, I happened to meet a 90-year-old Hyderabadi, very senior uh, and he was asking me about the status of uh, our heritage. And uh, after, I think, decades of trying to save, salvage, restore, conserve whatever remains, whatever little remains, I should say, of our, uh, you know, magnificent heritage that we, have, we were lucky to be done by our ancestors, I told him that uh, I am finally uh, thinking of calling it a day. I am too depressed. And I told him that this is the end. And that 90-year-old gentleman said, it's shame on you. When I have not lost hope, why should you lose hope? There will always be avenues, new avenues, new opportunities, new ways in which you can do something more, put in a little more effort and try a little more to save something for our future generations. I thank this group here today. Uh, I think uh, what my old friend told me the other day that uh, it was it was dark after that. I wasn't wasn't able to really understand what he meant by that. But looking at, this, at these youngsters who've been going around 28 uh, UNESCO sites in a single year, uh, I think uh, I can now again uh, dare to hope that uh, we can as yet save. Um, our endangered and threatened heritage. So thank you. Uh, finally, I know that the next generation will take care of whatever we are. Uh, we have been fighting to save all these years. Uh, I, I remind you, it's a really tough job. I and Anuradha, for the past 25 years, have been running around the city trying to identify six monuments and buildings each year for awards. And the type of reactions we get. Uh, overwhelmingly love, affection, people are happy, but in cases we've been threatened, shoved out, people have threatened to set their dogs on us, what not. But I think that is one week in the peak of summers, and I think that's the most uh, enjoyable week that, that I've had for each of the past 20 to 25 years that we have been working. Thank you. Uh, INTAC uh, uh, is the Indian National Trust for Art and Cultural Heritage. It's about 27 years old now, I think. 28 this year. Uh, it was founded by, the founder chairman was Rajiv Gandhi. Uh, we had a very uh, prominent and eminent uh, founding uh, uh, vice chairman under him, Papul Jaikar who did a lot and there were a lot of people involved in the beginning uh, from all over India. Uh, the need was, as you, as you know, uh, UNESCO heritage sites is okay. Those are the prime sites we have in India. But uh, apart from that, we have national level ASI sites, we have state level protected, <coughs> protected sites. Apart from that, we have lots and lots of heritage. Uh, which unfortunately is the most threatened because there's no protection and we are losing it at a very fast pace. Uh, Intact realized in the 70s, the 70s and early 80s, before it was founded, the people who were behind Intact. Uh, some, some foreigner or some friend came and they were taking him around Delhi and uh, he asked, what is the production you have for, um, I think it was Parliament House or uh, Rashtrapati Bhavan. Uh, is there any law protecting this? To our horror, we realized that there was no law protecting any of these buildings. These were buildings which were uh, associated with our freedom movement, with the with the birthing, um, you know, times of, of our nation. Uh, even Birla House, for that instance, has uh, still, I think, has no protection, legal protection. Uh, that is when Intact came in and tried to save a lot, a lot of these things. Um, most of the people, you know, think that uh, we go around just doing buildings, but that's not so. Intact looks after the tangible, intangible heritage. Um, uh, we have three uh, major and a lot more minor conservation centers all over uh, India. We have the Lucknow Center, Delhi Center, and the um, uh, Chitrakala Parishad in Bangalore, where uh, 
uh, artifacts are restored, paper, uh, paintings, textiles, you name it. And uh, I'm proud, proud to say that now Intact, I think, is the best um, resource center, the best center where you can get the best of uh, uh, expertise to properly restore and uh, preserve um, manuscripts, documents, textiles, and all our uh, heritage artifacts. Apart from that, Intact is also into legislation, and uh, finally the government realized that uh, Intact has played a major role. They've included us as a, as a consultative uh, agency and named us in the recent act of the ASI. So these are some of the areas in which we work. Some place we are doing very good, some place, you know, as with all organizations, it's some highs and some lows. Uh, and I'm also very proud that uh, after a long uh, hangama, uh, I think 16 uh, more sites, we already had 10 to 12, have been handed over by the government to Intac in Delhi. That's the latest. And then we have a lot of other sites where they hand over. Uh, I think the, there will come a time when uh, Intac and similar organizations uh, will be given more responsibility and more Hero. direct control of our heritage. I'm sorry it took a long time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I would actually encourage all of you all to become members. You can join the Hyderabad chapter. I need all the hands I can get. We do many things. We can talk about textile, all kinds of talk, built heritage, natural heritage, music, so many things. So it depends on the groups that are working, what they would like to select and work on. I take personal pride, we're talking about World Heritage Sites. In this state, we don't have one. We don't have a single World Heritage Site in this state. We have world-class monuments. And I can personally guarantee you, because I have visited so many sites across the world and across India, that even the least important site we have in the country or in the state is of a standard that matches a World Heritage Site outside. The difference is that they know it and they manage it in a suitable way. We need to bring our monuments to that standard. I take personal pride because the Department of Archaeology in 1914 in Hyderabad State was formed by the Nizam at that period. He had just become the Nizam because his father Mahbub Ali Khan had passed away. And soon after that, Usman Ali Khan, whom you know was our last uh, Nizam before 1948, then formed the Department of Archaeology. You're going to see, meet Mr. Ramakrishna Rao soon. One of the earliest activities they took up was first the awareness, the recognition, the importance, and then the protection of Ajanta and Elora, which was, which is now, since 1983, it is a, Kya Since 1983, it's a World Heritage Site. It's beautiful. But I'm going to claim ownership and pride in that, because it's us from Hyderabad who did all this. And subsequently, after 1956, it now adds glory to Maharashtra and to India, of course. But it is the personal efforts of Hyderabad, of Gulam Yazdani, who was the director here at that time, who contributed, and so it's led to this success of Ajanta. And let me also tell you that it was a Muslim ruler, it was a Muslim director, but the Ajanta and Elora Caves have Hindu, Jain, and Buddhist monuments. The importance cannot be stressed enough because they brought artists to sketch and we had in the public gardens a wonderful Ajanta pavilion with the paintings of the frescoes so that people who could not go to Ajanta could actually come and appreciate it here. It's of course gone. I hope Ramakrishna Rogaru will get it back for us. The other thing is that at that point uh, Hyderabad state had its own airline called Deccan Airways. I'm an aviation historian which is where Rajesh and I come into the picture. We actually started the first time in the country in 49 or 50 or something that we had a flight going from Hyderabad via Bombay to Aurangabad to take passengers to see Ajanta Ilo. This was a specially instituted flight to take people both from Hyderabad and from Bombay. So this is talking about the importance that heritage had in our culture. And therefore, now I share it with all of you. I take personal pride. All of you who say you're Hyderabad, you put your hands up. How many people?
people live and work here. How is Hyderabadi now? <laughs> so take pride in our monuments and thank you for that extra two minutes. Thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, we would like to call you to please accept this token of appreciation from our listeners. Now call upon our second guest of honor today, Mr. R. Krishnaiya, Superintending Engineer of Archaeological. <laughs> Superintending Archaeologist, uh, Archaeology Service of India, Hyderabad. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. I am Krishna here, Superintendent of Archaeologist, Archaeological Survey of India, Hyderabad Circle. So, I am uh, very much thankful to the organizers as well as the entire, particularly Anuradha Garu, for giving me this opportunity to share this experience with more uh, very well. Uh, scholars, learned scholars, historians, all the uh, um, philosophers and intellectuals. Thank you. Sir, I am looking after 137 monuments in the state of uh, Andhra Pradesh. So, before coming to Hyderabad, I have worked in different capacities in different uh, states and I have seen most of the world heritage monuments in the country. So, I sincerely dedicated my services in the preserving and conservation of these monuments. So, for the last one and a half years, after joining in the Hyderabad circle, so I am looking after the conservation of the most of the monuments. And uh, sometimes, being in Hyderabad, I feel bad since in the state of Andhra Pradesh, there is no valid monuments. So, one thing, recently, you are all aware that the Icomos visited the Qutub Shahi monuments in Hyderabad and we have proposed those monuments to uh, include in the World Heritage List. And we have tried our well best with the help of the state government and state archaeology and all intellectuals and intact. And uh, recent visit, we have uh, a lot of hope to include these monuments in the World Heritage List and we pray for the God to include those monuments uh, as early as possible. So friends, I do not have any knowledge about our organizers regarding this program. So I love to work with them since I have a lot of experience. I have visited many world heritage monuments in the country. I am serving in the department of premier agonists of the archaeological survey of India. So I hope to share these feelings in near future. So thank you very much for this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, now I would like to call uh, Mr. Ram Krishna Rao, Director of Department of Archaeology and Museums, Government of Andhra Pradesh. I hope I've got it right this time. <laughs> 